welcome to Level Up Tutorials. And in this full stack reactive Level Up Tutorials video series, we're going to be teaching you all about Svelte and Meteor. Now, in the last video, we created a basic Meteor app. Now, this Meteor app, just Meteor, no Svelte so far. And if we head to our files, you're going to see we have a .meteor folder full of Meteor stuff, which we'll talk about. I think this VS code folder just created itself. Uh, the client folder, we have a main.css, we have a main.html, a main.js, which includes a bunch of weird template JavaScript that we're going to delete. And by weird, I mean, it might be weird to you. This is called Blaze. It's a Meteor's own front end framework. We're largely not even going to be thinking about Blaze. So we also have a server file, which basically just contains some startup code and some tests. And other than that, package.json and our classic behemoth node modules. Actually, this one isn't a behemoth. This is only four packages right now. I don't know if it will stay that way, but hey, that's a one of the smaller node modules I've seen so far, right? So let's talk about this. Right now, we have this application folder structure, and we have our client folder. We have our server folder, and both of these folders are eagerly loaded, right? Anything in here is going to just be loaded, right? It's just going to be compiled where we also need what's going to be called an imports folder where we're going to be able to import things from. And again, these things are largely just to work within performance within Meteor's build system. So to do that, let's go ahead and just create this folder right now. So we have it for later imports. There it is root of the project, right? So we have client server imports, and that's just about where most of our code's going to go other than maybe like static assets or something, right? So let's get svelte with it. You could say that, I guess. And I'm just going to have pop open a new tab. Notice how my application is still running over here. It doesn't really matter, but I, I didn't stop this application and we're going to need to install some things. Now I'm going to run meteor npm install hyphen hyphen save Svelte. Now this is going to install the NPM version of Svelte. Now why Meteor NPM install rather than NPM install? Well, this largely makes sure that the versions of Node are the same. I personally just typically do yarn add package and use yarn and I've never had a single issue doing that. That said, the Meteor team on the Meteor website says to do Meteor NPM install. They say it's to keep the Node versions intact and I'm going to do it that way because of they recommend it that way. Okay. And, uh, I don't want to go off roading here or anything like that. So we're just going to say meteor NPM install. If you'd like to try this with yarn, I don't know. Uh, you can try it or you can try it with just NPM install, but, uh, I guess don't, don't blame me. I guess you could probably blame me if something goes wrong, just do meteor NPM install. It doesn't, uh, make a huge difference either way. It still installs it to your node modules folder, like a standard, uh, package.json NPM install does. Okay. So now that we have this meteor NPM install, save Svelte, we have Svelte installed. We need to add some meteor packages. We're going to do meteor add, and we're going to add Svelte colon come compiler, which is the Svelte compiler, as well as RDB colon Svelte hyphen Meteor data. Now the compiler allows us to compile dot Svelte files and the Svelte Meteor data allows us to access Meteor's reactivity uh, via the Svelte templates really super elegantly. I'm going to show you in a minute. It's going to be really cool. And lastly, we're also going to need to add static hyphen HTML. Okay. So these are the packages that we're adding here. Bingo, bingo, it's going to add them. And the next thing we're going to need to do after this is remove a package. Now you can remove a package via Meteor remove package name or Meteor add package name, or we can do it via actual typing in code uh, by heading into our dot Meteor folder, heading into the packages file. Here we go and finding this pesky package, which is going to be blaze HTML templates, this one right here, you, we don't want you, uh, and just deleting that line and saving this file. Simply by doing that, the Meteor compiler will say, oh, hey, I noticed you don't have this package in your package file. Let me go get some fresh packages for you, okay? So you can do it either by Meteor remove package name, or you can just simply delete it or add it uh, to that package file. It doesn't matter. I usually just edit this file myself, edit the packages file. Uh, other people have different strategies there. 
Now let's go ahead and start making our code a little bit better and getting the Svelte template in here. Now I'm going to remain and keep this head document in this main.html, but I'm going to get rid of this template stuff. This is all blaze. And next we're going to add our body and a div with an ID of app. Okay. This is pretty common. What we're going to be doing on the server side of things is telling Meteor to say, okay, we're going to have a Svelte file and a Svelte component, render that into this div. Sort of like you see on any create react app app where you have your react files and you say, Hey, render these into this static HTML. Well, here's our static HTML ready to go. And we just need to tell Meteor to render a Svelte file. Now we don't have a Svelte file yet. So let's make one. Let's head to our imports folder, new file, and we'll just call this app.svelte. Okay. I don't know why VS Code is not giving me the Svelte icon. Typically does. Right now it's saying, hey, no, no thanks. Now I'm going to go ahead and give this a header and throw in an H1. And uh, this H1 is just going to be, yo, you'd make it say whatever you want, obviously. And this is our Svelte file. So the next thing we need to do is head into our main.js. Keep in mind, this is the main.js on the client side, right? Not the server side. This is the client side one. And you can see that we're importing main.html. Cool, right? But we have all these template things, which are all blaze stuff. We're going to get rid of all of this blaze stuff. In fact, let's just go ahead and straight up delete everything in this file. We don't need it. Sayonara. See you later. Next, we're going to import Meteor from meteor forward slash meteor. It's always funny that it's meteor forward slash meteor, but meteor has a lot of core packages. So it might be meteor forward slash email or something at some point. So uh, if you're wondering why that's meteor forward slash meteor, that's why. Next, we're going to import app from dot dot forward slash imports app dot svelte. Now this you need the .svelte because it's not a JS file, it's a .svelte file. Next, we're going to say meteor.startup, and this is going to be some code that runs on startup, and we're going to have an arrow function in here, just like this. Inside of this arrow function, this is the stuff that's going to happen on startup, right? We're going to tell this app component to render into the target div. Now, that target div, if you remember, is body div app ID. Let's say new app is going to be a target dot colon. And inside of here is an object where we're going to have a target. And that target is going to have a, a property value of document dot get element by ID. And then we're going to pass it in the ID name. Okay, so this right here, let me tell you, line five through seven, this is Svelte code. You'll see this often in Svelte land. Uh, these other lines are all Meteor code. I'm going to do my very best to distinguish between Meteor and Svelte code where it matters. But if all things went as expected, we should be able to see our application is refreshing. Here we go. Client modified, refreshing. And just like that, we have Yo. I'm going to show you something real quick here. I'm going to bop this over here. And by bop, I just mean move it. And... I'm going to show you the live reloading in action, uh, app.svelte, yo, that's fresh, save it, auto refreshes, auto browser refresh, we don't have to do anything, just like you've come to expect from any platform nowadays, right? Meteor's had this the whole time, but um, it's really great that it's always had this because this is a feature that is always going to come in handy. Now, for the rest of the series, we're going to be doing a mixture of Meteor things and Svelte things. And I highly encourage you to take the Svelte for Beginners course on Level Up Tutorials if you know nothing about Svelte, uh, because there's a lot of cool stuff. Now, granted, I'm going to teach you Svelte things as we go here, but uh, if you want to learn the ins and outs of the Svelte platform, which I highly recommend, it's fantastic, uh, please go ahead and watch that video. So here we have Svelte compiling in Meteor in just about no time. And just wait till you see the reactive benefits we're going to get on the server. It's going to be fantastic. But before we go, 
I'm going to take this. This is a free tutorial series, right? So I got to get a little silly. I got to tell you about something. Uh, head on over to leveluptutorials.com and you'll see that we have tons and tons of tutorial series available. The latest one as of recording this is going to be Design Systems in Figma. There's also going to be a course on Sapper. Also, if you're looking for a new podcast in your life, check out the, uh, the Syntax Podcast. I don't know why it says The Syntax Podcast. We usually just call it Syntax, but uh, Syntax is a twice weekly tasty web developer podcast, Wes Boss, uh, the Wes Boss. And I talk about all sorts of stuff. The latest episode is in about boot camps and trying to get a job. So fantastic. There's a lot of stuff there. If you want a lot of premium content, head on over to leveluptutorials.com. So check it out. Again, here are the latest courses from Level Up Tutorials. Again, this site is actually built on Meteor. So um, if you want to see what you can do with Meteor, this site, you can do it, Meteor. So yeah, leveluptutorials.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next